Hey guys, it's Ryan with Fluid Health today bringing you another episode of Science Powered Fitness and today we're going to talk about intra-abdominal and intra-thoracic pressure. Now again, this is a pretty important uh, frame or theme for today because this is going to be how your body recruits the stabilizers around the spine to maintain a neutral spinal orientation before you move. So this is a basic fundamental of biomechanics. It's the ability to control the spine before we leverage the external forces by using these superficial muscle groups. So what I wanted to do is give you mechanicalistically what's really happening in the body. This red balloon inside of Mr. Bonaparte here represents the abdominal contents. So think of the viscera like the organs. It's basically these marbles that really don't deform, the root word for the viscera, or again, visceral, right, organs, is uh, viscous, which means resistant to deformation. So they don't really mold well, they kind of push. So when I put pressure on them by putting surface on top of it, they squish down. So think about the organs as being displaced or squished down like marbles, or again, this jelly-filled balloon every time you take a, breath, a breath in. So you've got this bladder, that fills up with the lungs, it's called the mediastinal chambers, and they expand and it pushes down, the diaphragm pushes down as you breathe in, it creates a vortex, and it pushes down on this balloon. So it's a lot like this blue balloon, I'm gonna try to blow it up here, hopefully nothing breaks. Just like that, where it expands on the ribs and it pushes down on that red balloon. So every time you breathe in, you get this cavity that expands into your ribs and pushes downward on this visceral contents. Now that expansion is called intrathoracic pressure and it pushes down on the, ab, the viscera which then stretches the ab wall. So every time you breathe in and that blue balloon inflates, it pushes viscera down and expands the belly. That's normally referred to as belly breathing, right? So it's expanding the abdominal tone as the visceral contents get pushed down by the pressure of the top bladder. Now that pressure is referred to as intra-abdominal pressure. Now if we have sufficient passive tone, and that represents or is being represented by this yellow band, then that pressure of that balloon is gonna be held back and go down, and it can't go up because the diaphragm, again, that, that central bladder on top is pushing down on it, so the pressure has to go back. And what that does is it creates this circumferential three-dimensional expansion or excursion, again, the whole thing, rounds open and expands, and it decouples the vertebral segments, and it elongates the back, and it puts tension on this line of force on the back called the thoracolumbar fascia. And that's typically referred to as the, a bowstring mechanism. That passive tensioning of that tension on the back of the body, some estimates um, show about 30% of your back extension capacity is tied into that passive elongation by maintaining appropriate intra-abdominal pressure or three-dimensional breathing. And so that's referred to as bowstring mechanism. Now you use that to properly leverage your spine so that your center of mass is on your feet, and then you organize movement around that once the centration of your center of gravity is maintained so you're not disproportionately recruiting certain muscles on the back side or the front side, leading to flexion or extension imbalances and force, and that's how we start to see injury cycles emerge. So it's super important to understand this conceptually and then to understand how to implement it. If you guys have questions on this, please reach out to us at admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. But remember, this is central to movement and your body is designed to move, so stay in motion, and we'll see you next time.